Hey, Ben Pistol here, Field Agronomist in Wisconsin for Bex Hybrids. I'm coming to you guys here today um, in the towards the end of September in southwest Wisconsin. I'm standing in a soybean field here. Um, this is an extend bean of ours in our lineup. And just wanted to talk about an issue we're seeing pop up in certain areas of the state, especially where it was dry in August towards the end of a pod fill on some of these soybean varieties. So when we stand here and we look at this field just about ready to be combined, if we look across the tops, we can see almost like a little bit of a white fleck to the top of the plants. And that's actually the pods splitting open. And in some cases, the beans are even falling out of the pods. So the question is, you know, why is this happening? And unfortunately, we can't just narrow it down to one thing, but it's a combination of factors. Um, first thing that comes to mind right away when you look at these beans is because we're getting later here and the beans have been shut down, we're seeing some anthracnose take over these beans. Not severe, but they're starting to. There's also was a lot of frog eye across the state of Wisconsin this year. And typically we don't expect frog eye to give us a yield drag this far north, but we did see it so late this year that it did infect some pods and also stems of plants. So that's contributing to the overall plant health. But I think the biggest issue and the biggest reason why we're seeing some of these top pods split open is because we were lacking moisture in the middle of August, right when these plants were really trying to force yield and really develop a healthy pod and a healthy home for that seed to grow in. So we had really weak pods deliver in the top couple nodes. Then actually we got rain, the seeds developed, then the plants shut down, the beans actually dried down, they collect dew in the morning, they swell and they pop that pod wide open. So that's why we're seeing some of the shatter on the top. It's really those top two nodes. Um, there is some yield loss to it. It's not actually that significant because it's just those couple pods on the top. But still, just so you guys have an idea what's going on, that's what it is, especially in some of these drier areas of the state this year.